What is up, guys? We're back with the Hira um, update, I guess, for all the cards that we have purchased. I will show everything that I have in general, not just the things that I've shown on my channel before, to show people who are new to the channel um, everything and all of that. So, I think we're going to start off here. Mm, we'll start off with the older stuff that I've already had for a while. So we have this uh, Bowman's Bowm oh, Bowman Sterling. This is like a cracked ice. It's numbered to 150. And we also have the Bowman Sterling base card. We have a lot of Bowman rookies. These I'm not really doing much with just because they're not worth a whole lot. Just kind of waiting to see what Hira does, and I'll base whatever I um, want to do off of that. We have three Tops Heritage rookies. Still have a bunch of Tops Chrome rookies because I found these really cheap. Uh, I put this on my TikTok, obviously not here, but these cards I got for a dollar fifty a piece in one of the. Um, variation listings so you go through and look I usually check them because I feel like most people don't so I went in looked at a Topps Chrome 2019 update um, well it's not update but Topps Chrome and searched for Hira and they had Hira and it was listed for only $1.50 a piece so I spent like it must have been like eight ish dollars total something like that and I got a decent amount of cards we got all of those Here's two of the older ones that are already ready for grading. Now we'll get into the good stuff that we are going to be sending in for grading that's actually in my stash, I'd say, for my grading submissions. So we got three Topps Chrome Rookies here. We have so many Topps Chrome Rookies. Um, we have this just here a base which I plan on holding on to honestly this card could be a decent grade not I probably won't send it in but still a nice looking card we have a Keston Hira pink refractor I really like the pink refractors for tops chrome we have a first Bowman I think his first Bowman's are really undervalued they go for like 30, 40, 50 bucks for a PSA 10. And for other guys, first Bowman Chromes, they're going for a lot of times more than the actual um, flagship tops cards. So I don't know. Could go up. Not sure, but I think it's a good investment. Very safe. We have two here that I'm going to send in for grading that are in really good condition, good centering. And then for the last two, these are the biggest purchases that I've ever made on cards. We'll start with the less expensive one. So we have a Kesson Hira X Fractor number to 199, as you can see right there. I got a pretty good deal on this. I think it was like 60 or 70 dollars, which for a card numbered to 199, I'd say that's pretty good. And then lastly, we have a Kesson Hira Refractor Auto numbered to 499 so our Keston Hira collection is a lot bigger not a lot bigger but it's a little bit bigger than Tyler Hero um, the Tyler Hero collection that I have and also as we can see here put a little more money into some higher end cards which I wanted to buy some higher end cards for Hero but like it's, I don't know, I feel like it's more risky buying those cards because like Prism and Mosaic, it's so hard to find a card that has, like it's that's in really good condition just because I swear every single Mosaic or Prism card that I purchase online has some type of print lines or it'll have little dimples on the surface. And it's just so hard to find cards that are in good condition. And like I buy these Topps Chrome rookies for Hira and I swear every single card that I send in can be a 9.5 or a 10. And it's... Kind of crazy that the cards always seem to be in 
much better condition because of like no print lines and things like that but it just makes it really hard to like to have me buy those higher end cards because if I want to get them graded they're not going to be worth as much if I get a bad grade but then again I can also just hold them because if I'm getting a Tower Hero that's numbered to like 150 or 199 or whatever it's probably going to be worth a lot more down the line I'm just I really like grading I think it's a really fun aspect of the sports card market and just the hobby in general so I'm probably just going to hold off and stay around like silvers and the other variations and just base cards for Tyler Hero. Basketball cards are just kind of difficult to me. And I'm also not as experienced as some others are in the basketball card market. So this is my Keston Hero collection and the cards that I plan on sending in for grading. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.